Next, we've got Phil. Phil, okay. Well, Phil isn't completely <laughs> happy. Yeah. It's just the first sentence. Yes, but you have to. You still have to fill it up. Duh. <laughs> but is that the reason we've not got five stars? Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Works at advertised. Yes. Works with Alexa. Yes. 2.4G Hertz Wi Fi 4. Okay. Expensive for what it adds. I'm sure your time was more than that, but let's let's continue. Despite filling up the kettle before going to bed at night, the kettle won't tell you someone else has emptied it and left it off the face. <sighs> Who does that? Why? It's a bit confusing because the kettle does boil faster than a normal one. So, yeah. but, but it still saves you the time of it boiling. So, I think you can see that as, oh, but it only saves me like, one or two minutes because it takes a lot less to boil or you can see it as not only it boils faster i also don't have to go to to it's already yeah. boiled the the journey to the kettle the back and forth and then the actual time it takes to heat up the water all of this like you don't have to wait for it anymore yeah useful if your hands are wet or dirty yes Especially when um, I do that a lot when I'm cooking, you know, hey Siri, kettle switch on. I have One got... moment. Okay. No, no, no. My flatmate's gonna. It's 11 o'clock. My flatmate's gonna <laughs> turn the kettle from anywhere and I just turn it on from the office. Really, it's a bit of gimmick to add to a home already full of smart devices. The kettle usefully beeps when Alexa turns it on. Blue light shows that the kettle has Wi-Fi connection. Blue light also doubles as a handy night light. Um, that may be our new new feature. Is <laughs> so the blue light is this bit right here, like this little smiley face. Uh, might be useful to a new mum dad who needs water at below boiling for baby bottle, saving that extra trip to the kitchen in the middle of the night. <laughs> The only reason we didn't get we, we we lost three stars because Phil still has to fill it up. Fair enough. No, I don't think it's fair enough, but okay, fine, Phil. I can't change your mind. The seal is faulty, so boiling water comes out of the lid as well as the spout. If I had option I would have given no stars. Um I think what it's talking about is this lid. Yeah. I think what we do is we'll do a demonstration, fill it up and pour it and just to make sure we're gonna fill this up and then pour it and then just to see if... Demonstration time? Yeah, test it out. line or it's already a little bit over i suppose what happened was someone turned it upside down so let's i mean oh my god it only happens when you pour the water like this i mean who does that i, I, I don't know you literally have to turn it upside down that's the only time that happens but but when you pour it normally it, it, it was okay so right point um demonstrate i suppose so from the demonstration just now, it only happens when the kettle is literally upside down. Yeah, down. when we're really, really impatient. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort that out. It's okay. The base is waterproof. We've demonstrated on that. It's, it's waterproof. It's okay. We'll, we'll sort that out later. It only happens when someone is really impatient and you turn the, water, uh, the kettle upside down. Um, but still, 
we could go the extra mile and actually add a good seal so that even if you're really impatient and want to turn the kettle upside down, it still doesn't leak. So yeah, thank you for the feedback. That's it. Bye.